in part 3 of the road stakeout series using magnet field 3.2 we'll be showing you how to use this stake real time road routine from the main menu we go into stake real time road and we have three options road horizontal alignment or horizontal and vertical alignment to so stake out and in this case we'll use road and we'll select the road from the list We'll go up into the magnet symbol and then set up and ensure reference set line is still ticked. This will be brought across from doing the stake surface routine. We can check the stake report option down the bottom. In this case, real time road uses the slope stake out report type. Once happy, simply hit next and we can enter in the cut and fill batter slopes that it will be used and you can hit stake once you're in the stake screen you can go into the magnet symbol and then set references you have the option to set references in terms of each cross section this is separate to the reference centerline option so in essence you can have a reference to your centerline chainage your reference centerline chainage and offset and also your reference offset this could be any this could be any point on the cross section and in this case we're using the center line as well and we'll hit the green tick we can go into the magnet symbol and then scroll down to help and this will give some explanation on staking out using real time road mainly the offset values that can be used as the four display options and in this case we'll hit one of the display options and we can scroll down and if we scroll right to the bottom we can see your reference which is a center line that we just selected and we have three options of elevation offset and cut and fill and once you have set up your full display options down the bottom you can commence your stakeout Real-time road is dynamic, so as you move around, it's updating the current offset and change values, as we can see down the bottom middle. And this is completely dynamic, using the interpolated height in between the road strings for its height. Once you are happy over the point, you can simply hit the measure button. And again, you can look at the data and mark options. And also if you hit set reference, this is a reference that we set previously. And you can also set it here for reporting purposes. And once you're happy, hit the green tick. And you can continue staking out as required. And once you're happy, you can hit back. And you can go into the magnet symbol view report where you can see all the design points that were set out with their reference option beneath each point and all the item values as you scroll across once you are happy simply back out and hit the home button and this concludes a part three real-time road stakeout option in the road stakeout series